right, this is how you get the uh, front grill, front bumper off the uh, 2016, probably 14 to 18 or 19, I don't know, uh, GMC 2500 or Chevy 2500. Uh, you'll need some tools. You need a 15 millimeter uh, ratcheting wrench and a some kind of ratchet, and then probably a air ratchet makes it a little bit easier. And they're all just 15 millimeter. And then you'll need a seven millimeter socket as well. So I'll just show you where the screws are at. So this is the back of the bumper. Obviously this is the bottom, that's the top. So on the back side here, there's one screw, two bolts up there. And then there's two bolts, three bolts. You gotta get underneath the truck. One, two, three here. And then there's one, two, three here, which this is where the uh, little tow hitch comes out. So one, two, three here. And then over here where the tow hitch is, one, two, three. Up top, there's two. Down here at the bottom, there's three more. So these three here are a pain in the butt to get to because they're actually, they bolt right here. One, two, three, there's your radiator. So you kinda gotta get your hands in here. So I was able to use the uh, air ratchet, get one or two of them off, and then I had to use the little ratchet to get them off. That was a little bit of a pain because it only moves so much and then you can't really get your hand in there to uh, hand loosen it once you get it out. So this took a little bit. Um, then once you put, once you get that bumper off, you don't want to pull it too, too far because these sensors will pop out. So in order to get these sensors off, this is the sensor right here. So what you want to do is the sensor clips on here. So that's where one of the tabs and this is the other tab. And what you want to do is basically take these and you'd essentially just take your fingers and spread them apart and then as you're doing that you could push the sensor in from the front side and then to get these out once these are into there if you need to get these out um, there's little clips here so you can kind of hold these two in and take the third one and push it down you can push it out enough and then pivot it out um, I actually have another video that shows a little bit different how to get this grill uh, bumper off so just look through my channel and find the other video and it shows kind of how to get off. And then this this uh, thing here, you'll have to take this off. So on the back side, um, this piece right here, this is the top of the bumper. So all the sensors are in here, and that wire runs across and behind this. So you want to take a seven mil, and this is one, two, three bolts here, and then this comes out. And then there's a couple little um, little things that stick in there to hold it on. You just pull those out, and then you'll be able to get that whole harness off, and then this whole bumper will come right off.